Okay, so today we're going to talk about prisms, and we're going to learn three formulas. Well, one is actually a review formula, the volume of a prism, but we're also going to learn lateral area of a prism and total area of a prism. So first, volume is equal to area of the base times your height. So for this, this is a rectangular prism. So the base for us is this square right here, but since we multiply everything together, it doesn't really matter what order you multiply in because if you remember, m multiplication is commutative, which means you can do it in any order you want. So we're going to do the area of the base, which is 5, oops, times 4, times your perpendicular height. Now if you look, this is us taking this prism and standing it up like this, so that this is 4, this is 5, and this perpendicular height is this 8 because this height makes a right angle here, so we can use that as our height. So times 8. So volume is equal to 5 times 4, which is 20, times 8. So volume is equal to 160, and if we had units, it would be units cubed, because remember, volume is a cubic measurement. We're going to do one more practice with volume. So for this one, our base is our base is this right triangle right here. So we're going to do V equals the area of the base, which for a right triangle it's one half base, which is three, times our perpendicular height, which is four, times the height of this prism, which would be Okay, and we're going to multiply that by our height, which, if you were thinking about this as this triangle being the base, and this triangle sitting on the ground like that, its height would be this 4 that's right here. So V is equal, 1 half times 4 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, times 4 is 24. So 24 un units cubed. Okay, for lateral area, you take the perimeter of the base and you multiply it by the height. When we find lateral area, we're just finding, oh, let me get my shader so I can show you. We're just finding the area of these blocks that go up and down. We're not going to find the area of this top block or this bottom block. Okay, just the lateral area that stands straight up and down. So when we find this, we, we're going to take our perimeter of the base which is 6 plus 3 plus 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 6 plus 3 is 9, so 9 plus 9 is 18. So the perimeter of the base times our perpendicular height, which is right here, 7. And if you multiply that, you get 26 and pretend they said this was inches, it'd be inches squared. Because remember, area is always a squared unit of measure. So if we find total area, we're gonna we're gonna be finding the lateral area, which is the area of each one of these um rectangles that wraps around the shape. these sides, but, and we're going to add it to this part, these two hexagonal bases right there. I hope that helps you see a little bit. I know it's kind of hard to tell because this isn't a 3D piece of paper. But for this, we take our lateral area, which if you remember, it's the perimeter of the base. So the perimeter of the base 
times your height. So our perimeter of our base, our base, let me just say, is a regular hexagon. So to find our perimeter, all we have to do is take 3, multiply it by 6, and you get 18. So our perimeter of the base is 18 times our height of the shape, which is this 5 right here, times 2 area of the, or plus 2 area of a base. And an area of a base of a hexagon is, hexagon is length length right here times height. So this is 3 times 4. So 18 times 5, which is 90, plus 3 times 4, which is 12, 2 times 12. So 90 plus 2 times 12 is 24. So our total area for this prism is 100 and 14 uh, units squared because remember area is always unit squared well that's all we're going to do with prisms today but make sure you come back because in the next lesson we're going to talk about right circular cylinders